Hey guys, गैस इज बरकत है और वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू ऑनबोर्ड गूगल एर्स क्लाइंट एंड ऑल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर गूगल एर्स ऑनबोर्डिंग चेक लिस्ट विथ यू सो दैट यू गैस कैन इजिली ऑनबोर्ड गूगल एर्स क्लाइंट सो लेट यू इन विजिबल पीपिंग टू मेक दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑनबोर्डिंग शीट एंड आई यूज इट फॉर ऑल ऑफ माई क्लाइंट प्रीवियसली एंड स्टिल आई एम यूजिंग इट फॉर माई गूगल एर्स क्लाइंट सो हेयर इज द ऑनबोर्डिंग शीट यू कैन सी सो ऑन दिस फर्स्ट पेज here you can see your agency logo or your agency name so if you don't have any agency you just you can skip it you just write down your personal name on here or if you have any agency logo or agency name you can you can just write down here that's pretty simple so before showing you all of these things or explaining all of these things i would like to mention one thing either you can send this onboarding sheet to your client via email or either you and your client sit down or maybe hop on a call then you can fill out all of this informations with your client so it's totally up to you but i mostly prefer to sending these to my client and also i record a video how to put all of this information here so that client have the great idea or good idea how to fill out all of this informations but again it's totally up to you so this is the first part clients informations i would probably say it's a basic information you client just need to write down business name contact name that means their name email phone number website if they have if they don't have any websites they can skip this part if your client are existing google ads account or if your clients have existing google ads account so they just need to write their google ads id or if they don't have you can skip it or maybe they can skip it whatever account currency it depends on the client's locations if your client is from us it should be us dollar and if your client is from australia it should be australian dollar and monthly budget it means how much they want to spend on google ads for their you know to promote their services this is the thing and google new or existing google ad advertiser that means if your client have already google ads account so you just need to write down the google ads account yes i am a google ad existing advertiser or if they don't have any google ads account before they just need to write new advertiser or something like this business address it should be pretty simple you know client's business address that's it and here is the big deal so here you can see service and product information so this is the most important part you client need to be fill out all of the information very carefully the services or product they want to promote with google ads or with your ads whatever they just need to write down all of the services they want to promote with google ads for example if your client owns a plumbing company and they want to run google ads for drain cleaning services septic and you know all other all of the things like let's say toilet repair bathroom repair whatever they want to run google ads for all of the services they just need to write down all of the services here and this is the most important thing what is the main offer they want to promote a google ads so is there any you know offer they want to run let's say you know 99 dollars special offer or maybe free consultations you know 50% off their first order whatever whatever it's a kind of hook they just need to write down all of the hook here for example if they provide free consultations they just need to write the free consultations or if they have an offer let's say 30% offer or maybe 20% offer 25% offer whatever offer they have they just need to write all of the offers here and usp that means what is the unique selling propositions that means why do people you know chose them over an existing competitor something like this you know so they just need to write the unique they are all unique selling propositions here that means if they have any unique selling propositions you know over an existing competitors on the market so they just need to write down all of the things and always ask your client to write at least 3 or 3 to 5 main competitors on their market because your clients know best actually who are the local competitors you know just always ask them to write at least three to five main competitors and under google ads setup information you can see it's a kind of geographical area they want to target they can write down the city's name they can write down the state country's radius whatever suits them best so they can write down all of these things under here and what date and times they want to run google ads and in what time zone this is the most important thing you know we always add a schedule under the google ads account so just ask the client to write all of these things at a time so that you have all of these informations you know on one sheet or part 4 you can see landing page setup informations if landing page is needed so this is the important thing so when you want to google ads clients like 95% times they don't have any landing page or maybe they don't want to create a landing page you know so what i mostly prefer i just on when i onboard a client i 
I offer a free landing page from my end or from my team so that you know everything is our under control so that we can you know change the landing page whenever it needed so this is the most important thing and if you charge anything extra for your landing page I probably say that your client will be not interested to pay extra for the landing page but you want to make sure that your client website is great and i don't prefer to send traffic from google as to the website but just make sure that everything is looks good when it comes to the landing page or website whatever but always try to convince the client to use the landing page instead of home page so to make the landing page your client just need to put their about us page that means if they have a website and this website should be contained about us page they just need to you know fetch the url from the website and just put it here and same thing address business hours you know information everything and if they have testimonial you, you just need to ask client to put the testimonials here so if they have any testimonial pages you just need to ask the client to put the testimonial page link here and any types of other informational content to make the landing page you know great that means you know cta button on the landing page you know some clients provide landing page content so it depends on the client's nature and client's behavior you know sometimes you you just need to write down or maybe write down the copy from yourself or sometimes clients provide the landing page copy as well let's say you know 300 word or something like this you can always ask the client to provide any types of useful content for the landing page i think it will help you a lot to make the landing page and you can expect a good roi from the landing page as well and landing page messaging same thing as i described you know if they have any types of messaging or promotions on the landing page they want to promote so you just you know you just need to ask the client to put all of these things here here is the main thing subdomain for example if i show you get dot expect ready carpet so this is the landing page we made for one of our client and you can see get dot that means this is a subdomain you can see so if your client wants to host these types of landing page on subdomain so you just need to access all of the subdomain access that means c name you just need to explain all of these things to your clients so that your clients have a good idea what is the you know cnm record and everything and uh, on the tracking checklist what types of lead tracking they want to track for example if, if it's not a e-commerce client so they just need to track phone calls and lead from submission that's it and if it's an e-commerce client so they just need to you know tracking all of these things at a time it totally depends on the clients and uh, clients destination phone number to send calls so if you are using a tracking number you just need to put a client destination number for example example if someone calls your tracking number and you can you know forward this call to your client's destination number your client just need to write their original phone number from where they want to receive their phone calls and thank you page if you are making a landing page for them you just need to make a thank you page to track the conversions properly that means when someone submits a form from here so it redirects to the thank you page so that they can track the conversions easily so this is the role of thank you page also privacy policy page is important to run google ads you know you just need to link the privacy policy page on the bottom of the landing page so to make sure that you have the privacy policy page and same thing your client need to write down their main email address from where they want to see all of the emails lead or you know like lead list or something like this so just ask the client to write down their email on here any other useful content so you can just ask the client to write down here it depends on the clients as i mentioned that before it totally depends on the clients you know for our some clients they provide all of the landing page copy and for some clients they don't so it depends on the clients so here's the important thing so if your client don't have google ad tag managers before so you just need to set up a google ad tag manager from scratch and if they have already you just need to ask them to give you the access google ad tag managers on the container as the admin access just make sure that if they give you the read read only access or maybe standard access it doesn't make sense so you just need to make sure that you have the admin access all of these things let's say google tag manager google analytics and everything you know and for google ads account it's okay if they give you the standard access but for these types of things google tag manager google analytics and also the landing page backend if they have any let's say if they have web wordpress or if you use any types of third-party software or any crm you just need to make sure that you have the admin access and here you can see this is the closing checklist feel free to read all of these things so yeah i personally skip this all of these things and on the last page you can see there is the agency logo you just need to put your agency logo again if you don't have i think that's fine no problem you just no don't need to put anything here so 
this is the overall google ad onboarding checklist so i will put this on my description below so that you guys can you know get this file easily and you guys can onboard google as clients easily so that's all from my end and if you like this video please feel free to subscribe this channel.